Think Big. Think Gun. That is the philosophy of Ghana's first president and the force behind his plans for the rapid industrialization of Ghana. A nation with limitless natural resources from earth to sky, bursting with potential and a wide array of long-term advantages for industrial producers. Ghana's domestic enterprise development program is helping to chart a new direction, turning around its manufacturing potential. There's also a fast uh, infrastructure development agenda on the side of the government to ensure that businesses that would come in into the country do have the necessary um, supports and facilities you know, to help them you know, kickstart whatever uh, business ventures they want to undertake in Ghana. Encouraging Ghanaians to patronize Made in Ghana brands is a sure way to revive its local industries and create jobs. I've had the good fortune of working in many different countries and I can say that Ghana has one of the you know, best talent pools, especially when you look across Africa. Yeah, you can train them properly and they are really, if they train, they are a very good resource over here. We are steadily pushing to increase export earnings, to create an economy that can effectively substitute its need for imports. Of course, the benefit of processing in this country is far more than exporting the raw material out of this country. We were actually importing from outside and we realized that, ah, well, well, visiting their factories, this is something that we can do. So we said to ourselves, I think the time is now for us to really bring in semi-finish and finish according to the customer's specification and needs. With access to a regional market of over 300 million people, and 100% duty-free access to the EU markets. Ghana offers advantages that are compelling and hard to ignore. The market size is tremendous and the opportunities are immense. The resources are there. Land is in abundance, as we can see. Labor is available. Um, people are ready to work as well. Steel manufacturing, currently at 70,000 tons per month, and with the potential to meet a market demand that far exceeds the current supply. Local pharmaceutical companies meet only 30% of the domestic demand. Many established manufacturing firms are making Ghana their regional hub. They recognize that the proximity to a growing middle class means they are closer to meeting the increased demand for goods and services that is as certain as the coming of day. Whilst there are challenges, there is a greater optimism that we can overcome them. There is not a single government over the years that we have found to be anti-business. So think Ghana and get ready to make it happen.